<laughs> I'm bored. I didn't even know where it went that bad. Everything was gone. What happened to this milk? How did dry those clothing no matter like this? Mm. Sing a bit. Why is it so dark? TV is so thin. It is good for smaller people. Why is my face on your phone? Why is my face on your phone? <laughs> you phoned me. Did I? Don't know. Which one's mine? It's too much baked beans. Daniel, mine is scrambled egg. You want one? That's not scrambled eggs. It's no, poached. I my jump on the Look, I got a new jumper. Do you like it? It's very nice. We're back at my parents' house. Didn't have a very good time at London. We were supposed to stay there for a few days, but we only stayed there for one night and then came back the next day because it was ru rubbish. It was just very boring and I don't like London. My mum doesn't like London. My wife didn't want, want to see anything in London. So we decided to just do a bit of shopping and then come back. I don't know what it is about London that I don't like. And I think it, it's kind of just England in general that I dislike. And now that I've been here for a few days, I'm starting to remember why I was so desperate to go and live in Japan. I just don't like it here. I like my family. The only thing I like that's in England is my family and this place where my parents live. Apart from that, I don't like living in England. For some reason, I feel like my anxiety is a lot worse when I'm in England. And I think that's because the people here kind of intimidate me. For example, we went to Maidstone a few days ago and I don't know what it is about the people in Maidstone. Everyone just seems so rough looking, unshaven, covered in tattoos, covered in piercings, people shouting at each other on the street. Walked out onto the high street, a bunch of guys started shouting at another bunch of guys and they just have this mean, unfriendly kind of demeanour look to them. For example, it feels like you look at them wrongly and they'll punch you in the face. In comparison, I just feel like Japanese people are nicer, more pleasant, more civil, more civilized. We went to my sister's place, her house, where she lives with her boyfriend. She lives in this pretty shady, horrible neighborhood, cheap neighborhood in London. And I didn't like the atmosphere there at all. I couldn't imagine myself living there. The house itself was nice. It was just outside of the house. The street, the people on the street just seemed kind of shady and scary looking and I felt like I was going to get robbed or mugged or stabbed any moment. I kind of feel like I made the right decision moving to Japan because if I didn't move to Japan my options would have been either just live here with my parents for the rest of my life or move out into some kind of town, in some kind of townhouse like my sister lives in and I really wouldn't like that. I'd much rather live in Japan. I think the most irritating thing about living with my parents is the internet speed. We have really bad internet. 
Download speed is about 2 megabits per second, upload speed is about 1, 1 1.5 and sometimes it gets unstable and it keeps disconnecting for example since yesterday and, and today the internet is just really unreliable, I can't do anything, I can't play Mario Kart, can't do live streaming takes ages to upload a video and we have the best internet connection that's available in our area we can't get fiber optic because the internet service providers don't think that it's worth putting um, fiber optic in this area because there's not enough houses to provide it to so the only thing that we have for internet is really slow crappy broadband dial-up or whatever it's called and if you live mostly on the internet like I do if all of your entertainment comes from the internet and your your job is on the internet then it's kind of frustrating to have such unreliable slow internet and I can't even play Mario Kart which is so annoying I feel like my dad doesn't really care because he, he barely uses the internet he does a bit of shopping maybe he goes onto Google if he needs to find out something but most of the time he just doesn't use the internet for entertainment he watches TV or he just stares at the wall or he's out in the garden busy doing something and I feel like English people who live in the country in general are like that, they just don't really care about having good internet because they're old and, and they don't do anything on the internet anyway so it doesn't really affect them. I think it's kind of disgraceful that we live in 2018, nearly 2019, and some areas in this country don't even have fibre optic and we have really bad internet. Internet, providing people with good internet should be a top priority, like providing water and electricity. Especially in a modern country like England, I think it's just ridiculous that there's some areas in this country where the internet is just really bad. And, um, and after being in London and going to Maidstone this week, uh, I've noticed a few things that kind of irritate me. For example, when you're trying to get off the train, English people, they seem to crowd around the doors and they stand right in front of the doors, blocking blocking people trying to get off. It's hard to get off the train when there's people standing in front of you and it makes you want to scream at them. Can you just wait by the side of the door so I can get off and then you can get on? It just seems like that's common sense. It's common sense that a lot of English people seem to lack. In Japan I've never really had this problem. Japanese people they wait by the side of the door of the train and let people get off first before trying to get on. It reminds me a few years ago when I used to go to the job centre and I would take my bicycle onto the train and I was trying to get off the train but people were just standing in front of the door not moving. Are they stupid? Can you not see me trying to get off the train? If you just moved out the way then I could get off and then you can get on. It's not rocket science. Another annoying thing is people seem to be very passive aggressive and impolite and they mutter things under their breath as they're walking past you. For example, me and my family, we were standing on the pavement and yeah, we were in the way, we were blocking up the pavement. Some guy just walks past and he was on his phone and then I heard him say something like, stupid people taking up the whole road. How about you just say, excuse me, if you're trying to get past, how about being a bit polite? If you're trying to get past a bunch of people and they're in the way, then you would say, excuse me, I'm trying to get past. Is it that difficult? You don't have to call us stupid on your phone. And then me and my wife were on the underground and my wife was sitting in the priority seat. I didn't notice it was a priority seat. And some, some woman and some man were standing in front of us. I wasn't really paying attention to what they were saying because I was tired and I was in a bad mood. And I think they were just standing there in front of me and my wife complaining about my wife because my wife didn't give up the priority seat to them. I think one of them was using a cane and they had a painful leg. As we got up to get off the train, they went to, to take our seats and I heard one of them say, unbelievable, absolutely disgraceful, stupid woman. If she wanted to sit down so badly, how about you just ask us, say something like, excuse me, my leg's painful and I have to use a cane. Would it be, would you mind if we sat down? You know, you, you, use some manners, be polite, don't just stand there complaining about us and then mutter something under your breath as we're getting up to go. It's just so shameful that she had so much to say and complain about us in front of us but she didn't even have the decency to say it to our faces directly or to even ask us if she could sit down. If it's so painful, if your leg is so painful and you can't even stand for a few minutes then maybe you shouldn't have left your house, should have stayed at home and rested instead of standing in a train whinging about people sitting in the priority seat. I don't even know if my wife knew that they were talking about her or complaining about her. I don't even know if she knew 
understood what they were saying. I didn't really catch what they were saying because I wasn't paying attention. I just feel like the people in in London or in Maidstone is kind of rude, passive aggressive. They don't say things like "excuse me," they don't ask you if they want. To. They they just mutter under their breath, passively aggressively. And then we went to Canterbury and we went into a cafe, Costa Cafe, and the guy working there, he was just sitting in front of the sandwich bar chatting to customers. And I was trying to get to the sandwiches, but he was just standing there blocking the way. And he was covered in tattoos. He had these weird metal spike piercings coming out of his nostrils. He had these big black hoops in his earlobes and he just looked so unprofessional. And he was just sitting there in front of the sandwich bars, resting against the ledge of the refrigerator thing. Blocking all the sandwiches, I couldn't get any sandwiches. I had to stand there waiting for about 10 minutes until we stopped chatting and moved. And I just felt like it was so unprofessional. That would never happen in Japan. Japanese people take their work very seriously, very customer orientated. They wouldn't just stand there chatting to customers. I know a lot of people like body piercings and tattoos. And that's fine if you like that stuff. But if you're going to work, is it so much to ask to take out the piercings and cover up the tattoos? Because, you know, not everyone wants to see that stuff. I'm just kind of glad that these weird body modifications and piercings like metal spikes coming out of your nose or big black hoops in your earlobes that aren't really they aren't really a thing in Japan. And um I kind of appreciate that because I'm not really into it. But I guess it's up to you if you want to do that stuff. It's your body. I guess you can do what you want with your own body. I'm not judging I just feel a bit intimidated when I when I go into a coffee cafe, Costa Cafe. I just want to get some coffee and a sandwich. I don't want to feel like I'm I'm dealing with a drug dealer or motorbike gang member. I guess I just feel kind of scared in general when I'm out in town here in England, um, especially when I'm walking past a, a gang of young guys who are wearing hoodies. I, I make sure I look at the floor, look down at the ground. I'm very careful not to make eye contact out of fear of getting beaten up. And a lot of English young guys, they like to see this tough guy walk where they swing the shoulders like this. It's like they're trying to compensate for something. Oh, look at me. I walk like a tough guy. I'm going to beat you up. Now, why can't they just walk like a normal person instead of trying to show off and look like a tough guy? People walk up and down the street smoking, puffing cigarettes, smoking into your face. In Japan, this never happens because it, I think it's illegal to, to smoke on the street. You have to go to a special smoking area in Japan. Uh, people are so noisy on the trains and, and on public transport here. Some, some people just sit there on the train chatting away on their phone, so you end up listening in to their personal lives and what they're doing next weekend on Saturday with their friend Sally. I miss how quiet the trains are in Japan. Everyone in Japan, they're just so well behaved and quiet and well mannered. And I miss that. And then you get people riding horses up and down the roads and the horses shit all over the roads. So the roads are all just covered in horse shit all the time. And it looks disgusting. I don't understand why, why people who walk dogs outside, they have to pick up their dog's waste. But people riding horses up and down the road, they just let the horse shit all over the place and they don't have to scoop it up or dispose of it. They should be made to, to carry a shovel whilst they're riding their horses and then clean up the mess. Anyway, apart from that, I'm having a great time in, um, in England. My wife likes it. Uh, my mum's Japanese friend and their family's coming over on Sunday. So um, that might be, might be fun. And uh, I get to eat English bacon again which is good. Oh, I feel much better now, just needed to get that off my chest. Ugh. Stupid ball.